Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And how are you? I hope you your day is beautiful and your day is, is flowing right in the name of Jesus Christ. So I bless you this morning in Jesus' name. And here we are again. God has given us the grace to meet again and, you know, share the word, share the word of God. So today I am giving you a teaching that I've entitled Dealing with the evil robs that tie your blessings. Praise God. Uh, and somebody can ask, how oh, can the blessings be tied? You know, uh, today's Christian, uh, the type of Christian that has refused to acknowledge that the enemy is indeed in existence. Praise the Lord. The type of Christian that has indeed refused to acknowledge that Satan is walking around, rolling, you know, raging like a rolling lion, seeking home to devour, and he does not go to sleep without supper. Mm -hmm. He devours every day, praise the Lord. Uh, the kind of Christian that mm -hmm. has refused to acknowledge that they can put an effort not to sin, you know, they can at least put in some effort, you know, try their best, you know, leave um, Asola, Ibrahim, God bless you. You know, they have refused. That is the type of Christian we are dealing with. Praise God. And so, today we are looking at the robes, the evil robes of witchcraft that tie your blessing. Do we have robes that tie your blessings? Yes. Can blessings be tied? Yes. Can your overflow be restricted? Yes. Can the blessing of God in your life be confiscated? Yes. Can, can bad things happen to good people? Yes. Can bad people things happen to Christians, you know, tongue-talking, devil-chasing, heavenly-bound believers? Yes, they can. Can ignorant ignorance be, you know, your doom, be the judgment, be the thing that is putting you under satanic, you know, agent spells and control? Yes. Praise the Lord. In the book of Galatians chapter 3, Paul uh, was admonishing them and he says, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. Praise the Lord. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? You see, the power of witchcraft can stop a Christian from obeying the truth. Praise God. And you see, many people think as long as they are in the ch in church, they are superior than witches. You can only be superior if you exercise your power. Praise God. And we can only say that uh, my husband has more strength and more muscle than me if we've ever fought and he has thrashed me. Praise God. So there's no way we can just look at a man and say, hey, that man can, this child can beat that man or this man can beat that man. No, you don't know until, the, unless they exercise their muscles and we see through proof that one is stronger than the other. So foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? You know, witchcraft can stop a Christian from obeying the word of God. It's a very clear, you know, it doesn't even sound strange. It doesn't even sound strange. It is a straightforward question. Oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? A pastor can be bewitched that he will not obey the truth that he's teaching. A choir mistress and a choir master can be bewitched that after they sing the songs of Zion, they will go and dance the dance of Sodom and Gomorrah. They can be bewitched. Bewitchment can push a person to stop obedience to the truth of god so witchcraft is real praise the lord and you see where paul is continuing saying eh? uh are you so foolish having begun in the spirit are you now made perfect in the flesh or are you going to finish in the flesh witchcraft can make you finish what you began spiritually bring it down to the flesh level when you begin a journey knowing very well that people bewitch Praise God, Joanne. God bless you. You know, when you begin a journey knowing that 
People bewitch. People are using witchcraft. But by the end, you've prayed for one month. By the end, you've been born again for four days. You start saying, oh, is there witchcraft really? Now you're finishing in the flesh. And this foolishness, this foolishness of thinking that the, when you feel like it, spiritual realm exists. When you don't feel like it, they don't exist. When you feel like it, spiritual warfare is real. If you don't feel like it, spiritual warfare is not real. It is witchcraft. Praise God. Don't worry. There are people there who are so scared of your prayer that they will they will have sleepless nights they will astro project they will you know read palms look into mirrors look into pots all in the name of stopping you from doing what you're doing and that is prayer but you don't know that you don't know that because you are just doing you are just following a ritual you know you are not you are not really serious you are following a ritual so today we are looking at the evil robes that tie your blessing so i said can blessings be tied and yes they can be tied praise the lord um when people use demonic robes to tie you like they 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 tied you know that uh in the book of mark 11 when jesus was sending his disciples to go and lose praise god uh, and it came to pass hallelujah mark what is mark Okay, Mark chapter 11. And when they, come, they came near to Jerusalem and to, Beth, uh, and to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go your way into the village of against you, and as soon as you be entered into it, you shall find a cult tied whereon never man sat, lose him and bring him and it, if any man say unto you why do you why do you this say ye that the lord has need of him and straight away he will send him hither praise god there was once upon a time a cult that was tied uh in this city where jesus was sending his disciples to go and tie and bring it to him and jesus said maybe some people will ask you why are you untying it say master the master has need for it you see uh spiritually we have spiritual robes that exist and witches and wizards are master planners and they know how to use these things to use these weapons a rob is a very you know a very powerful weapon in the hands of somebody who is wicked and somebody who has spiritual spiritual understanding from the dark side of the world praise the lord and so sometimes when witches use a rob to tie you like this cult was tied you will need somebody to come and untie you you will need to know that you've been tied for you to be untied and for in most cases god must have use for you for you to be untied praise the lord it will take jesus himself to send his disciples to send his servants to come and untie you praise the lord and for what reason so that the master can use you you know some of these people who've been tied the reason why they tarry in this state is because some of them, they never even lift a finger to do anything in the house of God. I've ever seen people in the house of God that God does not need. Whether they come, they don't come, everything continues, praise God. There's no day people will wonder, where is Pastor Veronica? She has not preached for one month. Whether I disappear for 10 years, nobody will even look for me. Why? Because I have not done, I have not helped anybody. I have not, I have not held anybody's hand. There's, I don't have a testimony that is following my ministry. Somebody saying, at least I met Pastor Vero and my life changed. There is no one. So whether I be alive or dead, it's all the same to everybody. So we have such people in the church of Jesus Christ. People who just come and they are not bothered. They don't even sing i've even seen people when we say stand and praise the lord they sit and they take out their phones and they they plunge into facebook or they go into whatsapp groups and they start reading jokes and they are laughing and other people are praying praise god such people you can remain tied forever i don't think anybody will send for you to be untied so evil robs evil robs of witchcraft are used to tie people 
Even some people go as far as, you know, tying a goat. You see these people who, let's say somebody has what? Like a hundred goats. But there's one that is tied in the compound. When you ask them why they are tying that goat, they say, ah, this one is lazy. This one will get lost. It's a, it's a goat that's old enough. And there are families, when you are growing up, you remember they used to have a goat that was tied there. They used to have a cow that was tied there. At any point in that compound, there's an animal that is tied there. You never bother. In fact, you go visit these people and they tell you, feed it, feed it. Meanwhile, that is you. Praise God. When they tie you, you know, we, we did agriculture. You remember, what do you call it? Is it tethering or mm -hmm. the one they use to tie the cows and mm -hmm. feed them? Huh? They, when they are using that method, that is the same method witches and wizards will use in your life so that they, when they tie you, the reason, the purpose of tying you is to manipulate you. That's number one. They will manipulate you. Number two, restrict you. You, you cannot go far. If you take a, a pillar and you are tied around that pillar, you can go the length of that rope. Mm. Even if you go in circles, you will make the same circumference. The rope that is on your leg will be the radius. Praise God. You cannot go beyond that, that rope. It is not going to stretch. You will, it, you will go as far as the length allows you to go. So that is demonic restriction. And then if at all you go around that pillar, you will go round in circle. These robes are the ones that produce demonic circles. If you find in your life you are going around in circles, like you start January, January you, you are sick. Uh, February, you are in hospital. March, they are doing an arambe to pay off the medical bills. Uh, April, you are the weather is a bit is a bit good. You know, March, you are trying to start your business. June, the business has flopped. July, you are back to asking friends to get you something to eat, to look for something for you to do. August, I don't know what you are doing. Uh, November, you are trying to commit suicide. December, you've been co comforted and you are really hoping that now you're going to make it. January, you are sick again. You've completed the full circle. Praise God. If you find in your life that you follow a particular, you know, circumference, you go round in circles and you feel like I go round in circles. You begin, you know, a place where you get to and you are like, I have been here before. Praise the Lord. Then you need to deal with satanic robes that are tying your life. Let me tell you something. Somebody will come and put a spiritual rope on your leg and tie it on a pillar behind their house or in their bed. You know, these beds that, you know, in their bedroom, they just tie a rope there and a matchstick. They tie that matchstick there and they say, this is Pastor Veronica. In this Nairobi, in this Kenya, you will never minister. Let me tell you, if Pastor Veronica will not take time and pray, she will never minister. Nobody will ever know her as a preacher. Praise God. In fact, we'll be telling person, somebody, you know Pastor Vero, the one who, Vero is a pastor. Vero, Vero siwa kushuka. I, the last I saw her, she was working in her salon. You know, nobody will ever know. You, you want to see somebody who's been tied. They can tie you and they say, if it's a woman, they say, I have tied you in your father's house. What does that mean? It means it doesn't matter where this girl goes. She will go east, west, south. She will travel the world. It doesn't matter the type and the kind of men friend she gets. Eh? The kind of fiance she gets. Whoever engages her. It will always end up the same thing. She meets a man who falls madly in love with her, who buys her the ring on the second day. And on the fourth week, the man is now complaining. Or shortly before the wedding, the man is complaining. The mother's the, the mother-in-law is complaining. The sister-in-laws, they don't like her. In fact, everybody is having a weird dream and they are warning this man. And then he just disappears. He will not say, I am not going to marry you. He disappears. The one who does not want to disappear dies. Suddenly before the wedding, the man is sick and the man dies. And if she prays some prayers and she pushes it to the wedding, immediately after the wedding, the man is sick.
and the man is dead or the man goes mad something happens why because the robes that tie this woman they tie her in her father's house praise god evil robes that tie your blessing they do exist praise the lord somebody can tie your health they just tie something and they say this is Vero's health but by the time she's healthy she must get it from here and they go into the forest and they tie that rope there praise god so for you as long as you are on this world and as long as that tide blessing that tide health exists against you guess what you are forever sick you 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 are sick from one sickness to another if you don't have the headache you have the backache if it's not the, yeah, throughout the year round you are sick some sicknesses are better than others yeah some sicknesses can be better sicknesses sickness is bad but there's a sickness you find somebody sick and you say oh anyway i bless god me i only have asthma <laughs> you know asthma you're blessing god i only have asthma i am not like this one so sicknesses vary so but you will be sick from one type of sickness to another throughout the year because your health has been tied down demonic robes somebody took a robe somewhere or just a string and they said with this robe a string i tie so and so's marriage when they tie it you for you to get it you must pray these prayer points i'm teaching you you must think how i am provoking you to think what is this evil rope that is tying down my blessing what is it and the greatest symptom is for you to know when you are going around in circles any level in your life you find you're going around in circles if it is getting a job you know they tell you to write your you know your cvs then you write it down it's best recommendation Mwah. then you are sending them to this person there's a there's a place there's a there's a vacancy there they have promised you the position then when you get there somebody else before your godfather takes you he is transferred and in place they bring another one who does not know you praise god and then the deal is off praise god if you find that you go round in circles if you find that in your life you always you know you are seeing it when you get there you don't get it then it disappears then you walk for a while then it appears again then you're running after it then when you get there it is not before you know it you're back to where you began planning how you're going to get it praise god then you should know that you've been tied your blessing is tied your blessing is restricted and these people, they are happy because they exist, they manipulate you without your knowledge. And by the way, the person who has tied you in that forest, in that grave, wherever it is, they've tied you under their bed, wherever they will come running to you and they will be, they will be telling you, um, how far are you? How far are you? Grace, Grace to look at me like Canada. Then you're like, hey, they're all. Uh, so sir, at now, so sir, a passport, and I'm like, hmm, okay, okay, she has the passport. Then now I go manipulate it so that your house girl, of all the things to steal, she steals the handbag that contains your passport. Mm. <laughs> it only had 200 bob. She leaves the, the one that is carrying 50,000, she carries that one with 200 shillings, but with your passport in it. So is she about to return your passport? She's not about to return your passport. She crosses the border you took her from Uganda, and she goes there and throws it on that border there, praise God. So here you are again, now having to go to, to, the, to report it to the police, to put it, to gazette it, you know, all that stress. And imagine the embassy was asking for you in the following week praise the lord so this is tied blessings and let me tell you something you who ignore who refuse who say jesus said it is finished he said it is finished and that's how it was finished hey it is not finished unless you say it is finished jesus said it is finished so that we can echo him so that we can come on and say jesus said it is finished we don't want this nonsense you witches in jesus name lose your power we have to stand and you know and declare it we have to stand and say it we have to confront them so that we can conquer praise god so it is very 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 vital for every believer and especially in this season when i know everybody is in prayer and in fasting guess what stand up and take back your your stolen blessings stand up and untie yourselves stand up and remove that rope in jesus name one time 
I used to live next door to a witch. A, was she? Yeah, she was a witch. Eh? Yeah. And one day I saw her. She tied, she, she quarreled with somebody. And that somebody said, I don't know, I'm going. They were supposed to go somewhere together. And the, the other person was like, I'm leaving, I'm going. And she was like, you can't go without me. I'm leaving, I'm going. Then she came. I was just watching her. I don't know, she didn't see me or something. She took a matchstick. She tied this uh, sewing thread. She tied it. And she went to a window. And you see those grills? She tied it there. And she was talking. So I looked at it. I looked at it. When she finished, she turned and she saw me and I said, eh, eh, so what are you tying? She said, some people are joking with me. <laughs> some people are joking with me and they think they will go anywhere without me. Let them go and I see. So when she left, I went and removed that. <laughs> I went and removed it. I, I don't know. I Okay, that time I didn't even know, but I knew she had done something bad. So it's today that I can now understand what she was trying to do. Praise God. Somebody can tie you down, my friends. And they use satanic rope. You know, that thread just looks like a normal thread. You know, the one that you just used to repair your clothes. But it is not normal. It is charged with demonic powers. That, that car... That whatever it is they are using that is representing whatever it is they are tying in your life. It could be a matchstick. It could be just, you know, a random stick. It could be something small. But when they tie it and they equate it with your blessing and they are saying, as I am tying this, Joanne's blessing is tied. Joanne, unless you take your time and declare that rope in Jesus' name, use spiritual scissors, cut it, use fire, burn it in the name of Jesus Christ, and tie every tied thing in your life, you are going nowhere. You will struggle in this life. But I talk to Christians, you know Christians, the masses of God, you know these little, little masses of God, and we are funny. And okay, I don't know about others, but I know the ones I know here in Kenya, if we can pay rent or we've built our house, we, there's no landlord who is knocking and asking for money. We are okay. So it doesn't matter if we are eating these missing meals. You eat on Monday, you miss on Tuesday, you eat on Wednesday. You know, we, in fact, we start encouraging ourselves and saying what? We don't live to eat. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We eat to live. Praise God. And that time, that person who is saying they eat to live, their skin is, is, is plastered on their bones. So you can see every dent where their teeth are joining the jaws. You can see them from outside. Praise the Lord. Because they are, they've been eaten up by anger pangs. Their body is eating, consuming itself because they are living from practically from hand to mouth. You know, praise the Lord. So they, I say they will use that evil rope too manipulate you to control you to restrict you praise god to 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 just know where you are at every moment i know you have not passed the limit you have not you know some people can even tie you to live below the belows mm -hmm. you know when somebody says utakuwa maskini wa maskini you will be the poor among the poor <laughs> i wish you know what they mean if they say ama they call you maskini ya mungu you know you will be the poor from God. God has no poor people, but you, you've been labeled like in the, in the kingdom of God, you'll be the one who will be poor. When they want to look at poor people, they'll look at you. You had better pray against that rope in Jesus' name. So uh, what are the symptoms that, uh, that you can gauge without looking at your life, without looking at maybe what is happening, but when you, when you weigh yourself, when you wake up and you feel yourself, uh, what are the symptoms that uh, that this rob is at work in your life? The first thing I know, the one I've prayed for many people who are suffering from this thing, the first thing is laziness. Mm -hmm. You know, laziness. Like you can have a business that you cannot, you, you will not visit every day. And if you go, you have your business premises. You will be reaching there by 12, <laughs> late afternoon. What were you doing? You took time to wake up. You took time to shower. You took time to take tea. And then you took time to talk to some friends. And then you took time. By the time you reach your business premises, it is late afternoon. And then the moment you get there, ah... Uh, there's a force 
house that is moving against you and your business, you feel like you want to leave. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You, and, and you know, you are justifying your actions. You're saying, but now I want to leave because one, two, three. And if we really talk to you and you are saying like, eh, Grace, and a job, good job. You're like, ah, I will go. I will go. Have you ever seen people who get things eh, from Dubai, from China? When they are ordering the container, they are active. They are visiting every place. They are getting clients. They are saying, hey, I am going to be supplying you with this and this next week. Then the goods come. By the way, no, no barriers. They clear the goods. No barriers. Let them now start the supply. Oh, Grace. See, only later is a material. Ah. Oh. Nishaleta, I'll bring. When are you bringing? Let me bring on Monday. Today is on Tuesday. Let me bring. That's a whole week. So what are they doing Tuesday when there's nothing? Praise God. Uh, why did you say on Monday? Because I want to be very, very sure I'll take them. Come Monday. Ah, this car. Can this car reach there? Really? This car can't reach there. Okay, Vero, can I bring them on Wednesday? Meanwhile, Vero is building. Uh, I want to move into my house. You're not bringing, so I get it from somewhere else. Then I'm like, don't worry, I'll promote you the next time. Uh, you're like, Vero mm, is even ordering for what? 10 pieces. I know somebody who wants 50 pieces. It's okay. The one for 50 pieces. Can you please bring me the 50 pieces? Uh, when is today? When You are the one who is selling. When you are asking the person who is buying. When is today? When is today? Uh, so today is Monday. When When do you want them? I want them today. If you if you can bring the, ah, 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 today today is a joke. Today you are the seller. Today is a joke. Today is a joke. I can't bring today. Um, can I bring on today's Monday? Can I bring on Friday? <laughs> can I bring on Friday? And you know you think you think you are cool. Yeah? You we ask you say ah me Miss Kimberly, I give it to me. I don't rush. Slow but sure. I want the rest. Slow but sure. And this is business. My friend, you're the, not the only one who's selling these things. Other people are selling. So you find you brought in a container. Before you finish, you know, supplying, before you finish distributing, it is one year. Meanwhile, so the profit, you have no profit. You don't, you don't do any accounts. You don't keep any books. You, are, you, are just, you just survive in your head. In fact, when you begin, you are just consuming the profit. You are spending it the way you want. So that when the goods that are remaining can barely, barely return a quarter of what you spend on them. Is now when you start saying, you know, this money, you can't use it. Because this is, uh, this is business money. This is capital. You, you didn't know it's capital. So there's that sluggish spirit, that lazy spirit. And even in your bones, you feel lazy. You know the laziness that you cannot explain to anybody. The one that you just push yourself, push yourself. Why? Because you have been restricted and now you want to break. You want to go beyond the circumfer circumference that has been set for you to go round. Praise God. The minute you want to go round, there is that force. The, it's an external force of laziness. A laziness that you cannot explain. It is not your neighbor's business. It is your business. It's not like you want to like uh, do in any person. Praise the Lord. It's not like you want to do in any person. You want to be a blessing to people. But you cannot. Praise God. You cannot. You are lazy. Open for them. Then. You are. It's been. Uh, praise God. So you are lazy. You know lazy. You are just lazy. If we try to ask you, why are you feeling, you know, in fact you will say, the way I am feeling in my spirit, I feel like uh, the Lord is, <laughs> the Lord is telling me, he doesn't want this business. <laughs> praise Jesus, you know. The way I am feeling in my spirit, I feel like God is saying, I should not do this business. This is what the Lord is saying. The Lord is not saying that. Karibuni, the Lord is not saying that. Praise the Lord. The Lord is not saying that. This is a spirit. It's witchcraft. It is tying your progress. And that is why you will not want to be faithful. You will not want to be diligent. It's not that you don't want. It is your business. And I want you to understand. 
I am talking about something that is bringing food on your table, something that is paying your rent, something that is keeping your family. You wake up and you don't want to do it. You don't want to move. In fact, it's like the whole world is sitting on your shoulders. That's why you don't want. When you investigate your life, you will find that the evil robs are tying you in, in, the, in progress. Praise the Lord. Another thing is you keep missing your appointments. If this type of witchcraft is operating in your life, you keep missing your appointments. And by the way, uh, you know, there is nothing that is important to you. There is nothing that you can really focus and say, for this one, I don't want jokes. You will even joke with President Uhuru's meetings. You are supposed to meet President Uhuru, the president of the Republic of Kenya. And you are still home and you are still sleeping. And you you know, you think you are very important eh? when you are not moving. Eh? Araka and President Uhuru wants to meet you. You feel like you are scoring points. You don't know. It is witchcraft operating against your life. There is nothing important to you. And by the way, there is no loss that you feel it's a loss. Msonye. You have a church where everybody goes and you say, let them go. I didn't even want people. You close your gate and you, you go and sleep and you say, me, I'm fine. You are fine, yes. But there is an evil rope that is tying your blessing. Praise the Lord. You're married. You wake up and you look at your marriage and you're like, so who is this man? Is he the only man in this world? You can go. You don't know. You've been tied in your father's house. That is where you're going back. And of course now your father is that fool. I'm not saying your father is a fool. Your father is that fool who tells his daughter, my daughter, come today. Don't sleep there. Don't sleep there. And then he calls his bodyguard. Catherine is in that fool's house. Take the car and bring her. And when your father is bringing the car to get you, hey, we should see you. You're even looking at your mother-in-law like this. Guess, guess which car is coming to get who? Guess, you guess. And then before long, Pepe, Pepe, eh, Vero, I'm looking at Sonia. Tuanane, do you even say Tuanane? You just walk out here. Yeah? You just say, hmm. you tell your kids, Tuanane, let's go, let's go. I mean, my father has sent the car to come and get me. To return me where? To my father's house. Remember your mother is at home. Remember your father is married. Remember now they are quarreling. Even as your father is saying, come, your mother is asking him, are you married to her? And now you know you go, my mother hates me. Do you know she asked my dad if he's married to me? You don't even want to look at the point that was behind that question. Praise the Lord. The evil robes are tying you. We have mummies, what we call mummies boys. And most of them, they think their mothers love them. Their mothers care about them. Which mother loves you who does not care about your child? Just ask yourself. Because if your mother loves you, she can die for your child. If even on your wife, your wife is okay. You know, women, as long as they didn't give birth to you, if they love you, it's by grace. So it's okay. But she bore you, you are her son. This your children are her children. And then she loves you, loves you so much that there's no food in your house. But you, her son, is eating, taking supper, breakfast and lunch in her house. But that woman and her pigs, and that woman, that stupid woman you brought here, that illiterate girl you married with her little, little rats, praise God, they should not come to her house. My dear friend, oh, your mother has tied your progress. She has tied it. I know you can't tell her, so let me tell you that she doesn't know me, you don't know me. She has tied your blessing. Praise the Lord. There is no mother who will love you and eat with you on the same table and your wife is sleeping without food. Okay, your wife, fine. Your son, her grandchild, her granddaughter is going without food. They are not in school, but they are asking, have you fueled your car? You are stupid. She has tied you. Tied you. She's a witch, by the way. That's a witch. Those are the characteristics of witches. They behave in a manner to divide, to destroy, to finish, to kill. That person, you are, she's feeding you. So when your wife now gets a, gets a good job, gets a breakthrough, and she's feeding her kids minus you, who broke your home? It is a person who was feeding you when the rest were sleeping without food. The evil robs are real. Praise God. They, tie, they can tie you. You can walk in that circle 
for the rest of your life. And then people brag. I've, I've prayed for people who brag. Oh, pastor, me, my January is a very bad month. Ah, you know, you've gone round that circle until you know, oh, this fig tree is dry. You know, you you have landmarks. You know, this month, uh, this month I fight with my husband. This month, if he will not remove my teeth, I will remove his teeth. You know, you, you've gone round that circle and you're not even imagining you want to break it. The evil circle can only come if there's a demonic rope that is tying you, praise God. That's the only thing. That's the only way you will find yourself spiritually going around in circles. But you see, in our today's church, where we live by grace, hallelujah, we don't want to pray a prayer that looks like we are exalting Satan. Praise the Lord. We don't want to pray a prayer that looks that we, we don't believe in the power of God. If you believe in the power of a gun, what will you do? You will use it. When you finished your bullets, what will you do? You will get more bullets and reload. Yeah? Why? Because you believe in the power of that gun. Small gun. You can walk in places where real men don't walk. At some weird hours. Where, where ten men cannot pass during the day. You will pass there alone. 3 a.m. Hallelujah. And you will be whistling. <laughs> Just to alert them, eh? I am passing here. Come out of your hiding place with your simis and machetes and we'll see what I will do to you. Are you getting that? Because you have a gun that you know how to use. This Christianity that we don't know how to use. This Christianity that we are just saying, I am born again. I don't believe in witches. If I don't believe in witches, they cannot do anything to me. Hey, hey, hey. You've been lied to. If you step on a life wire that you didn't know was life, is anything going to happen to you? It's yeah. life wire. You just sit on it. But why would something happen to you and you don't believe in it? You didn't see it. You didn't look for it. It's just life wire. I mean, it shouldn't, it shouldn't work. That is what you're trying to say. You're trying to say, if I don't believe in witchcraft for long enough, or if I confess it strong enough, then it will not... Hey, please. Please. They will bewitch you, you will be in the church and you will never get married. They will bewitch you, 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 you. You will be rich. You will have cars, but no woman. No, not one can stay with you for four months. The, some will start, you know, when they smell you, they, they just, they make faces. And that time the perfume you are using, my friend, it's from Paris. And they cannot stand your smell. Evil robes, they've tied your marriage. So who tied you? The master has need for you. Praise the Lord. You need to, you know, come closer to God. You need to wake up and put on the garment of prayer. You need to rise up and wipe yourself from the dust in the name of Jesus Christ. You need to do something. Let nobody lie to you. Let nobody lie that when you come and I prophesy, Hallelujah, I am seeing the Lord lifting you. Every day, the Lord has planned to lift you. So if somebody sees, they will see the Lord lifting you. Any day, whether you will die flat on the ground, the plan to lift you was there since Jeremiah. He says, I know the plan I have for you. It is a plan of good and not of evil. So anyone who is spiritual, when they look into your heavens, they will see the plan of good and not of evil. So today I see it. And it has always been there. I am seeing Sonia. The Lord is opening doors. They've always been opened. What has stopped you from getting in, going through those doors? That is what you should deal with. The doors are open. The plan is always there. It is not today that a prophet has spoken that the plan is serious. The plan was serious before they gave birth to you. It was laid before the foundations of the world. God had that good plan. God had that good intention to make sure that all your needs have been met. All your needs have been supplied. However, a man came. I, I had some who were born eunuchs, some who were, chose to be eunuchs, and some who were made eunuchs by men. Praise the Lord. So who made you a eunuch? Who has tied your blessing? Who has, who has made you poor? Because some made themselves poor. They are called for interviews. They say, oh, how much are they paying again? Uh, they will start by paying you 50000 50000 I cannot take 50000 They are closing up your house for 15000 And you cannot work for 50000 Come and see full. Come and see a full here. 
So your mathematics are always upside down in this life. So you made yourself poor. So, oh, they are locking my house. The landlord is here. You refuse to work for 50000 That would have paid your house rent. So it's okay. You made yourself like that. Others, they were studying at night with their feet dipped in cold water. They did not sleep. Late in the morning, they were like this. They are sitting their exams. They scored the A's. Praise God. And just after they scored the A's, somebody came and told them, being a thief is easier than being a manager. You will just steal. Then you will just behead some few people and you are going to be fine. And today, they are languishing in jails. You know, bright people. People with good futures. They, they were destroyed because of limitation spirit. Those who are made like that by other people. Praise God. So, were you made? Were you born? Others were just born in this family where nobody goes nowhere. Have you ever seen a family where nobody goes nowhere? So you are the first one trying to go somewhere. And everybody in your family is asking, hey, and you are trying to go somewhere, even you. Who in this village have you seen going somewhere in the whole village? And even you when you reason and when you think about it. So when you go to this big city and your life looks like it's wishy-washy, after all, who has ever come here from my family? So you will now bow down and make them happy. Hello, mommy. Uh, mommy, I'm so sorry. I, I wish I could have listened to you. I now understand why nobody has left in our family. I'm coming home. Yay! Everyone's coming home! Yeah, you are failure of a family celebrating your failing now. So you go home and they have a bash. Imagine what I'm saying? There are people who, who celebrate when their kids resign from being hair hostesses. Mm. They say, huh? Hey, she was flying every day. And you see, there's a plane there. There's a plane there. There's a plane there. I was wondering when a plane will crash. Hey, I thank God my prayers have been answered. So now who are you? If you're a house girl, they are safe. Mm. If you're a hair hostess, they are not safe. In fact, house girl, they're asking you, is your boss a good boss? Can he marry a second wife? That's your mother. Hey, hostess. Hey, you're going where? Where to London? Mm -mm, mm -mm. The way I see people shooting people in the movies. <laughs> it's, it's a rope that is tying you. You don't know others. Even our own parents. A whole parent will stand and say, no child of mine will fly. You see, when the Kao were seeing the visions of uh, the white men coming, Siokimao, I think he prophesied how bad people were coming. And they were making a snake that was coming from the coast throughout to Kambani to Nairobi, the, rail, the railway line. Yeah? And uh, that is what is going to disrupt the African community, meaning civilization. Huh? Mm -hmm. And the cows, have you ever seen any cow, any mukamba in this Kenya, apart from in this our age, who were even striving to buy land in Nairobi? It doesn't matter how many cows they have. Mukamba, buy a piece of land in Nairobi. <laughs> so that they can you steal from him. <laughs> Please. Or they will come and kill him. Eh? You tell them, Mukamba, oh, in Kisumu there is a piece of land. Mukamba. Piece of land in where? Kisumu. Where they eat fish. Fish. How do people eat fish? Have you ever wondered like me? How do people eat fish? Fish with those many bones. Mukamba buy land there. Hey, hey, my friend, my friend, it's, it's, it, our forefathers prophesied that civilization was a trap. You want us to be trapped. You want us to be trapped. My own grandfather took my mother from school because if she gets very educated, she will disappear. Tapotea. Eh? My mom, a very bright woman, could not continue with her education because her father was rich. And he said, why should you go to school, my child? And I am rich. And how many of them are like that? Eh? Joanne's mom, she told me the mom did not go to school because her father loved her. And everybody who was going to school was hated. <laughs> because they are waking up in the morning and wanna teseka. And her father did, her grandfather did not want the mother to teseka. Are you seeing that? Hallelujah. So I'm um, coming to buy land. Where? Evil robs. Praise God. Amukamba will, the family, the, the, the great grandfather will stand and say, nobody will shift. My father, my, my father's father, he had this curse of nobody should move from our home. 
our home that is I think two acres and he had 24 sons and he has this law that nobody should buy land anywhere else are you seeing demonic robes and so anytime you tell I remember when I was growing my father and mother having a bad fight because mom is trying to get land elsewhere it was a family issue until my grandmother came and said you want to take my son where you want to steal my son you want to steal my son acquiring land then that hey, she. it is now we are trying to buy them at millions and every kiku is looking at you like mukamba i have even bought land in your land and you never bought it and we are like don't worry about us we are just coming out from we are trying to break the demonic restrictions mm -hmm. so these robes are real and let me tell you somebody words something they just issue against you can become that robe a father tells the daughter uh, when you start dating check the tribes you bring here staki wa jaluo staki wa luya staki nani staki mtaita staki 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 and then now she gets pregnant by a muluya now what will she do before you know it your daughter is the mother of all nations she has a child from luya land a child from meru land a child from because you've restricted her you've said she's not going to get married to that tribe so even when she tries she won't and then i don't know africans we have this uh we have this staying power <laughs> if somebody curses you they don't want the curse to be undone so they are forever competing with you mm. to make sure that curse operates even prophetic if i prophesy something that is against you just to prove that the lord uses me that thing must come to pass mm. yes i when i told this guy put your house in order you're going to die before he was out of the compound, the Lord told him, go back. Okay, tell him I've had it in 15 years. If it was today's prophet, they would not go back. They would say no. In fact, if they go back, they would be tempted. The Lord is saying, because you are joking, I've just told you, you will die and you don't want, you will see. You will see what will happen. We are not God. Praise God. Just because you told your child, don't marry that tribe. They have fallen in love. And my friend, people in love, they have no brains. They only have love. Brains come, <laughs> brains come when life starts happening. Praise God. So when you're trying to talk to this child, oh, you are not going to marry. And I have said, if you marry that man, da 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 da, da. Before long, the, she, she's not allowed to visit you, even me. If my husband goes to visit his mother and he comes back to beat me, I will try very hard for him not to go. Mm. If he's on the gate, I'll be like, ah, oh, stomach. Then he comes back. What is it? Uh, uh, Take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. I am just checking my time. By the time I know now you can't go. I'm better. Return me home. <laughs> I will try something. Praise the Lord. Because this guy goes there. He comes back here a pig. He comes back a buffalo. He comes back an animal. Who wants that? So even if I am a man and I'm married to this girl whose father is forever telling her, why did you marry a Luo? Why did you marry a Luo? And I'm Luo. I will make sure I exercise my authority as a husband. You, when you wendy, when you wendy, to na wewe. And I'm not ready to go today because I don't want to face your father. So we will go there once per lifetime. When your father is very sick, that is when we will go. When he cannot talk. When I'm saying, Muse, he, he gets annoyed. Then I tell the daughter, you saw how your father got annoyed when he saw me. But he didn't have the energy to voice his hatred. That's when I'm going, I'm saying, Mweke kwa gari, let him sit properly. Mushikilieni. I am driving into the hospitals. Maybe by the time the muse is healed, he will say, eh, mujalo, alimi, take care. <laughs> He's a good man. <laughs> you, you know, but before then, he, he has exercised that limiting power. So you need to pray. I know most of you, you are civilized and some prayers are demeaning. You know, imagine a whole professor. Eh? Oh, evil rope, tiny my progress. It, uh -huh. Please, if you have to do it like the guy who went at night, just go at night, close your door and face these things. They are a reality. So may God bless you and may God give you the grace. Uh, tomorrow is Monday. We shall be dealing with uh, prayers that break demonic ropes or destroy demonic ropes. We shall be dealing with them tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ by the grace of God. So God bless you and keep it Christian in Jesus name.